Now we're going to talk about radicals and exponents. Uh, this is things that students get confused on quite frequently. So exponents we'll talk about first, and that's, let's say you have x to the m times x to the n. Well, that all that equals is x to the m n. So therefore, if you have 3 squared uh, times 3 cubed, it equals 3 to the 3 times 2, which equals 3 to the 6. That's the first law of exponents. Uh, the second is to bring the exponent in if they're multiplied. So let's uh, have that. If we have x to the m, all to the power of n, that equals x to the m times n, not added. Uh, this example is if you have 3 squared, squared, that equals 3 to the 4th. That's because 3 squared is 9, 9 squared is uh, 81, so this equals 3 to the 4th, and 3 to the 4th is 81 because we know 9 times 9 is 81, or we can express it as 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 3 is 9. Multiply those together, you get 81. So that's the second law of exponents. Feel free to pause the video at any time if you have to stop. Um, the next one is if we have x, y to the n, you get x to the n times y to the n. This exponent can be brought into both things. And that's with different bases as well. So let's say we have 3 times 4 all to the n. Uh, well, we'll say a number, so let's say 2. Then we can say that is 3 squared times 4 squared. And... Uh, yeah, that's the way it'll work there. If we had 3, 3 there, so let's say we had 3 times 3 squared. Well, this 3 times 3 is actually 3 squared, all squared, which equals 3 to the 4, which we just said was, oops, that looks like 34. 3 to the 4, which we said was 81. So let's talk about the uh, reverse of these. If we have x to the m over x to the n, then that equals x to the m minus n. Again, 3 over 4, you can get the example now, basically, based on these variables. Um, after that, we have x to the minus n. So if we have x to any negative exponent, it's the same thing as flipping the exponent to the bottom of the fraction by saying x to the 1 over, or sorry, 1 over x to the n. So you just, whenever there's a negative exponent, you always flip it to the bottom and have the same situation. Um, x to the n, x over y to the n can be express the opposite way. Well, not the opposite way. We'll show you that too. So x over y to the power of n is just equal to x to the n over y to the n. Again, very simple. It's just the n comes into both things on top and bottom of the fraction. So now let's talk about uh, radicals. A radical is when you have x to the 1 over n. So x to the 1 over something, like x to the 1 third or x to the 1 half. Um, x to the 1 over n just becomes the nth root of x. Or if you have x to the 1 half, that becomes the square root of x. Because this is just an index of 2 for square root. Square root is just uh, 2. 3 times 3 is a square root. Cubic root would be 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. So all the same rules basically apply to that. Um, if you have x to the m over n, though, this is the other situation that's important to see. x to the m over n equals the nth root of x to the power of m. And basically, that can be extracted from our other rules that we just did. Because um, we can say x equals, well, this equation comes down to be x to the m times 1 over n. So these two things are multiplied, which is fine, which means they're both going to be applied to the same thing. We're going to apply m to x. So this equals x to the m. But we're also going to apply 1 over n. So we get the nth root of x to the m. So that is how that works. I'll show you another couple extra examples just for fun. But if you have the nth root of xy, that equals the nth root of x times the nth root of y. If you have uh, a radical inside a radical, like the nth root of the mth root mth of b, then you would have, um, you can just multiply them like they were fractions. Let's take this down into fraction fractional exponents. So this would be m n b, like that, m nth root of b. Um, if this were fractions, we would have b to the power of 1 over n 
to the power of 1 over m. When we do this, we multiply our fractions. Multiplying fractions mean we get b to the 1 over mn. b to the 1 over mn, we know that 1 over anything is just the m nth root of b. So that works out like that. So that's been a basic intro on uh, radicals and exponents. I'm just seeing if there's anything else I'd like to express. Oh, one other thing is, again, it can all be expressed to fractional exponents, but let's say you have x over y, and you have the mth root of that. Well, that's the same as saying the m root of x over the m root of y. And that's basically it. But I would suggest you always express them as uh, fractional exponents, like 3 over 2. So let's say I have the cubed root of you know, b squared. Well, all that is is b to the 2 over 3. Because um, then you can multiply them. So if I want to multiply that by b squared, I know when I multiply, all I'm doing is saying that is b to the 2 times 2 is 4 over 3. So hopefully that uh, works out for you. Hopefully that helps you. Oh, sorry, that's added. My mistake. That's added. So I've added these exponents. So 2 over 3 is the same as 6 over 3. Add these together, we get 8 over 3. So b to the 8 over 3. Well, that helps you on exponents. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments.